In this short video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to stream 1080p 60fps in Streamlabs OBS. So first, of course, you want to open your settings and I'm just going to quickly run through all of these and let you know uh, what you want to use. You can copy these if you want. Anyways, general tab, nothing too important here that we're going to discuss. Um, actually, nothing at all, really. Uh, so moving on to the stream tab. Again, this is just basic stuff you're gonna do when you're streaming not really part of the video uh output this is where it gets interesting so basically th the first thing that people are going to wonder about is the encoder always use nvenc new um unless you have an older nvidia card use nvenc if you don't have the nvenc new but you pretty much always want to use nvenc new when possible if you do have a uh, amd graphics card then you won't have this option um, but i believe they have an alternative that's also called something else it's just not nvenc um, but uh, definitely try to stream from your graphics card which is what this is rather than software which is off of your processor your cpu that usually just never goes well you end up having issues drop frames and it really stresses your CPU. So moving on, um, enforce streaming service encoder settings. Uh, I don't know, I leave it checked, works for me. Uh, you can mess with that if you want. Uh, rate control, CBR is definitely what you need for live streaming. Make sure you have CBR as your rate control. Now for the bit rate, this is where people tend to get confused. Um, and now if you were wanting to stream 1080p 60, like I'm assuming you are, because you're watching this video, I would recommend no matter what your upload speed is, set it at 6,000. 6,000 is like the perfect balanced bit rate. Um, we're gonna have a great quality stream, um, but it's not gonna be such a high bit rate that viewers might experience buffering and things like that. Uh, 6,000 was uh, is what I would recommend to anybody um, looking to stream at 1080 60. Now, as far as upload speed goes, to stream at 6,000 bit rate, you are gonna need at least an eight to 10 upload speed. Um, ideally 10, um, but you can get away with streaming 6,000 bit rate at eight upload if your uh, internet is is consistently uh, not bad. Uh, for me, my upload goes between a six and an eight, so I can't quite stream at uh, 6,000 comfortably. So that's why I've dropped it down to 4,000, which drops the quality down some. Um, but if you're like me, and maybe you only have a six to eight upload, maybe just drop it down to 4,000. But for most people, I'm gonna recommend 6,000 bit rate, as long as your internet is an eight or 10 upload. Uh, just put it at 6,000, you'll be good, and your stream will be great quality. And for the keyframe interval here, just set it to zero zero it'll automatically uh change depending on what streaming service you're using whether it's youtube twitch or something else uh preset just do max quality um i'm assuming whoever's watching this video has a decent computer good enough for streaming um if you have a low-end pc then i might need to make an entirely different uh video for that just leave a comment below if you want settings for that but i'm assuming um you have a decent pc decent graphics card and everything um so just do max quality here leave the profile on high uh i don't use look ahead uh make sure psycho visual tuning is on gpu leave that at zero and leave your max b frames at two now for the audio Video. I'm not gonna get into this too much. That's a little different uh, tutorial. Uh, video, of course, you wanna be on the 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. Downscale filter, I just use uh, Bicubic. Um, I think it's good. You can do Lanxos if you want. I personally don't notice any difference, so I just leave it on Bicubic. Um, and then, of course, you want your uh, FPS type uh, to be uh, common FPS values, and then your FPS value to be 60, um, of course, for the 60 FPS. And then finally, if you come to the advanced tab, I just wanted to mention, um, if you scroll down on your advanced tab from the top, you will find the network tab. Um, just turn all of this on. All of this stuff is going to help your stream be the most quality and most stable as possible. And it really does make a big difference. Um, keeps you from dropping frames and other things. Uh, but just turn all this on. That's going to greatly uh, improve the quality of your stream. But that has been all of these settings that you need on Streamlabs OBS to stream in a great 1080p 60 FPS quality. If you like this type of video or have a suggestion for another video, leave a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.